everybody so my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot really really briefly you all just wanted to say you guys were the number one viewers of 2019 so this is going to all of my Aquarian babies out there thank you thank you thank you so much for all of your support all of your views all of your likes all of your downloads whatever your shares all of that thank you guys because of you being the number one supporters this is an additional bonus reading for you not sure how many components this reading is going to have but you guys are about to get that biz naive because you gave me such a great year and I really do appreciate it you guys have to understand it's the difference between a person wanting to do everything by themselves and a person having to do everything by themselves I wanted a team and I recently got blessed with a team but until then all of that footwork, all of that muscle was me. So it means so much to me to see Blue Aura growing and expanding the way that it's growing and expanding. Even if it's slow, it's steady. And it was all me. So thank you guys. And obviously you. Obviously you. I can't take that away from you. Because without you, I wouldn't even be doing this damn video right now. It would be no reason. But because you was the top viewer, here I go. So thank you guys so, 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 so much from the bottom of my heart. Just wanted to say thank you. And to also let you guys know that I currently have the I Am Essential Oils back in stock because they did like sell out as soon as i got more of them in stock like last week they was gone already by monday so here they go they are back okay i have more of them eight dollars 88 cents all right all you have to do is contact me um that information is going to be beneath this video also if you're interested in the unconditional love candles okay manifestation candles i have those on sale as well for 15 okay so in, if you're interested in any of those things let me know because those two things are back in stock and i also still have the reiki healing bracelets and rings okay let's get into it let us see what messages spirit has for you what messages do we have for my aquarian babies and this is going to be a timeless reading you guys so it can apply to you at whatever time it applies to you truth be told all of the readings are timeless whether or not a person says that because time is fluid all right you could watch something and the video you know the reading could already had happened a long ass time ago could be something you're going through right now or it could be something that doesn't happen for months from now okay so regardless to whatever the date is truth be told they're all timeless but this is timeless so whenever you see it you're meant to all right let us get into it messages for aquarius so first card out you have is two of pentacles okay so i feel you being in this place of just trying to balance everything in your life out you know work your home life, a relationship if you have it, your friendships, right? And then still trying to find that time for yourself. When I see this card, I'm reminded instantly that God wants us to remember that we need time for ourselves. So you're getting that lovely reminder here that in order for you to remain balanced in the physical aspect of things, spiritually, mentally, in general but in the physical aspect of things you're gonna have to take some time out for you because this man is dressed in so much red i instantly get root chakra and because it is pinnacle i automatically get physicality so i feel like in order for you to stay above water you're going to have to start taking more time out to pay attention to what needs less time what needs more time okay and pretty much just balancing things out okay simple as that then we have the Knave of Wands in reverse. I feel like there's a lot of action that needs to be taken, but it is not being taken. Knaves are still very young. They're still very inexperienced, and they're still learning, okay? So with this, I feel like there's something you want to do, but perhaps you feel like you don't have all the necessary information to be able to do it, okay? Sorry about that. So like I was saying, something that you need to do, but you're not quite doing it, okay? You might feel like this is something you want to pursue, but you just don't have all of the necessary skill sets, know-how, whatever the case may be, okay? Now, with this three of wands here in reverse, four of wands right underneath it, then the queen of wands, I'm getting here, all right, overall, there's something you're passionate about, something you want to do in regards to yourself, in regards to your livelihood. But there's something going on in regards to a union, whether it be a union you already are a part of or a union you wish to be a part of. There is a spiritual awakening that's taking place within yourself. Now, in order for you to stay balanced, Aquarius, you're going to have to, like I said, make some really tough 
decisions okay some things and people are just gonna have to get a little less time from you okay because apparently you need to give this time to yourself okay with the justice card here in reverse and then the sun card underneath it there's something regarding your abundance that you feel like is just not fair it's something i get this energy where you're the type of person that's so giving you give even when you don't have it to give all right and that may not always be the wisest thing to do very compassionate and loving thing to do, but not always the wisest thing to do. Because look right here, another knave yet in reverse. But then the ace of cups is here upright and the knave of cups, all of these knaves. So this to me is like, I don't want to say immaturity, but it's just not handling the situation in the most mature manner. Because when you know better, you do better. And you know that realistically, if you give away everything that you have, even when you don't have to give, you are left with absolutely nothing. You are left to feel depleted. You are left to feel like a queen not on her throne who's feeling a bit bitter. You are left to feel like your plans are not working out. You are left to feel like you're not making judgment calls that are good for yourself and your family. You are made to feel like you're always offering apologies to people, but you can't get your emotions fulfillment in return okay so at what point do you you know take the blindfold off which i feel like is coming because we have the two of uh swords in reverse anytime we see this upright it's a person saying and now that's two two so lovely way to bring that right back around um but with the two of swords in the upright position this is a person seeing a situation but not wanting to so it's like, yeah, I, I realize that I'm constantly giving more away than I'm getting back. But, you know, it's okay. It, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Like, it's, it's really not all right. Okay? At what point is it not all right? You know, everybody loves to say that. Like, oh, give, give, give. You know, give when you don't have it to give. And it's like, okay. And then you'll be right there with them in the same damn situation. I'm not saying not to because I've done it and I do it. I'm just saying at what point is it not okay because now you're taking away from yourself so much that you're in a detrimental situation. That's not, that's not smart. It's not positive. That's not, I don't care what nobody's talking about. It's just not. Okay. I don't care if a person feels like they're older than me and they know more. It's just not. And apparently not. Okay. So it doesn't make any sense. So that's why this is now in reverse. Okay. Because you're able to see the situation clearly and say, yes, I can still give my heart. I can still love. I can still be a loving and caring and compassionate person. But that does not mean that I have to sacrifice my happiness all the time at the hands of others. At, for the sake of others no so we have the the ten of cups here an upright position and yet again another two in reverse that's because no more indecision about should i give this action to myself should i give this action to that person no i'm going to give it to my myself should i give this love to that person or should i give it to myself no i'm gonna give it to myself should i give my last to this person knowing that my bill is due and it's been past due for two months now no i'm gonna give it to myself it's that type of energy you you know just doing what makes sense Okay, just doing what makes sense. And now with you being an Aquarian, you think a lot. Okay, so I feel like this is you already seeing that. But now you're not fighting with yourself about it anymore. In regards to why you're not happy, you realize why you've been defensive and on edge. And you're not allowing anybody to, to take you out of your zone anymore. I mean, I don't see the badness in any of this. I feel like this is good, if anything. All right, I feel like some people around you may take it the wrong way too, you know, with that five of wands. Because five of wands is conflict. Five of wands is people wanting to go back and forth with you, wanting to bicker, wanting to argue. You had the four of wands. Look how peaceful and serene that looks. It's just two people relaxing, chilling after having acquired stability, right? After having gotten to a certain place. But with the five of wands, you go that, that fifth wand in the mix messing everything up. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. So people can feel however they want to feel, but you have to do what's best for you. Okay? So let me see. And as soon as I said that at the bottom, before we even shuffle following my truth, like, you have to do what's best for you. Period. Okay? Whether they like it, don't like it, can't stand it, whatever. <clears throat> We have asking opens a pathway. I feel like a lot of you have been asking, what should you do? Are you handling the situation the right way? Does that make you a bad person? All types of stuff. Well, here's Spirit um, delivering your answer to you. All right. So it says, when I ask questions of my inner being, I discovered that beautiful and helpful answers always come to me. This is also 14 breaking down to five. Five being divine guidance. Okay. Then we have loving from the inside. Okay. So focusing on giving yourself, like I said, the nerve 
nourishment you feel like you weren't getting from other sources. What is so wrong with that? So also with this being seven, spiritual awakening. So you realize, you woke up. Like I said, the blindfold is not there. The veil has been removed. Whatever you want to call it, you now have 2020 vision moving into 2020. All right. So it says, it is a blessing to give myself the gift of my own presence. People might feel like, well, where are you? And what are you doing? And it's just that you want to be by yourself or you just don't feel like it. And sometimes... You can't just say, I just don't feel like it. Because then people take it the wrong way, right? They never take it like, well, maybe something's going on with you. And maybe you simply just don't feel like it. People make everything personal. So it's one of those situations. But then we have fearless self-love. You're just being there for yourself. Everything here is self, self, self. There's nothing wrong with that. So it says, whenever I choose to love myself, no matter the circumstances surrounding me, I am practicing fearlessness. At the bottom, true worth. You recognize your true worth. You recognize what you're willing to give your energy to, which is only those things and people and sources that are going to give you the same amount back. And it says, also with this being 34-7, it says, my true worth is intrinsic and shines from my inner being like a sacred jewel of love and compassion. Like I said, still going to be loving, still going to be compassionate, just going to put yourself first. What's the problem with that, right? I don't really know. I don't see a problem with that. At all. But let's get you uh, <laughs> some cards real quick coming in. Anything from their higher spirits? Anything from their higher spirits? Their higher spirits. What do you want to say at this time? Higher spirits. Shine your light. Shine your light is what they say. Shine your light. Allow yourself to transform. Do not be afraid of who wants to rock with you or who does not. There's a spiritual union that's in your midst. Either it's something you're a part of or something that's coming. You also have another two, movement, choices, and decisions. There's a lot that's coming in your life right now, and you just maneuver energy around accordingly. Then you have authority, stepping into your personal power. You could also be dealing with a very powerful person, could potentially be an Aries, or maybe dealing with a legal situation. Maybe you're thinking about getting married and doing so in a way that doesn't cost so much, if you get what I'm saying. But then we have spiritual strength, very intelligent, as well as... Um, spiritually strong okay and when i say that i mean you've gone through a lot so instead of you reacting to every little thing you use use your spiritual wisdom then we have discontent and boredom okay because you realize in what way you were unable to truly experience happiness because there are people around you who may not be as happy or have that happiness in their life so maybe they do things um sometimes that still your joy and so you removed yourself because you want your life to be in harmony here a lot of you are dealing with soulmate twin flame relationships and type of situations with this transformation here and you're just wanting to remove yourself from any energy that's going to interfere with that and that's how it goes i with my twin flame i agree i condone it i all of that i second i, I all of that okay because there's people around you who even if they're happy for you, they're, they're not happy for you. You get what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like you intuitively know that because look at the person's face. But they have that spiritual endurance, right? So this is beautiful. And concluding your message, thank you guys so, 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 so much for being the number one supporter of 2019. I really do appreciate you guys with all of these twos here and this, these sixes and these fours. I'm feeling a lot of stability, a lot of completion of heartache, a lot of transitioning as a person overall with this transformation. I said a lot of you are intuitively feeling it. Here's intuition. We have passion ignited. We also have fertility. So a lot of you are going to be expecting soon, all right, um, due to the passion that's been ignited between you and the soulmate or twin flame connection that you have but you intuitively know that you need to transform your life and you need to remove yourself from around certain energies that are just discontent and do not mix well or mesh well with the harmony that you're attempting to create so you have to fold your arms and be firm in your decisions and you know make the movement choices and decisions that are best for you all right so this is going to conclude you guys message peace and hair grease